Welcome to Electron Line, and now we want to generalize some what we call reduction formulas. Ways in which we can reduce trigonometric function to a more simple form. The first thing we want to look at is to be able to add and subtract 2 pi from any angle and get the exact same result. And that seems pretty straightforward. Let's say I have a point on the unit circle here, uh, x, y, and it's defined by the angle theta. Now what happens if I add 2 pi to it? So from this location, if I add another 2 pi, which is 360 degrees, I get to the exact same place and my x, y value will be exactly the same. Or if I subtract 2 pi, if I go in the other direction, 360 degrees or 2 pi, I end up in the exact same place as before. So because of that, I can simply say that whenever I have the sine of theta plus 2 pi, I can simply subtract or add 2 pi to that, and that's the same as the sine of theta. Either subtracting or adding doesn't make any difference, I get the sine of theta. So with other words, to give you an example, if I have, for example, the sine of uh, 35 pi that is equal to the sine of 33 pi. I can subtract, I can add, this is the same as the sine of 37 pi. I can always subtract or add 2 pi from any angle and get the exact same result. So the same for the cosine, makes no difference, this is equal to the cosine of theta and this is equal to the cosine of theta and since the tangent is the sine divided by the cosine if the sine and the cosine don't change the tangent doesn't change as well and so therefore I can write this as the tangent of theta and the tangent of theta so very simple whenever we have 2 pi uh, we can um, I mean whenever we have an angle we can subtract or add 2 pi from that and we get the exact same trigonometric function likewise I can subtract or add 4 pi or 6 pi or 8 pi or whatever number of, as long as it's an even number, even number pi's, I get the same thing. So I can say, so the tangent, or a more general form, I'll just use the sine here, let me write in a more general form, the sine of some angle plus an even number, so 2n times pi, where n is an integer, so n must be an integer, so this is a very general way of writing that, so any uh, like say if I have n equals 1 or 2 or 3, if I multiply times 2, so I get an even number. So an even number times pi, this always equals the sine of theta. And of course it's plus or minus, it doesn't matter, I can add or subtract an even number of pi or s from an angle and I get the exact same trigonometric, trigonometric function. So that's our first, what we call reduction formula, it comes in really handy, use it all the time, so that uh, that makes it a lot simpler. So in other words, if I have the sine of 35 pi, you can say, well, this is equal to the sine of 34 pi plus pi. And since I can take any even number of uh, pi away, that is equal to the sine of pi. And that's how we reduce more complicated trigonometric functions into a much simpler format by using this uh, reduction formula.